You know, my name is Jack Martin, and I own a small sign company called Signworks, and it's in uh, Hanford, California. The way I bought my business for my son when he was 18. He started it when he was 15. And so I was in the motorcycle business. Been in the motorcycle business for 20 years. And uh, the sign business, we always helped my son with because he was so young. And um, so uh, when he wanted to go off to college, I decided to buy the business from him. And uh, so my wife and I sold the motorcycle business and went in to her and I making signs. My business, uh, it grew. Um, we, uh, it was just my wife and I at first, and uh, we hired our first couple of employees, and uh, we bought our first CNC machine, which was probably the most the best thing I ever did. You know, it, actually, I don't think a sign company can really call themselves a sign company unless they have a, a CNC machine, because it's pretty, uh, pretty important. Anyway, we've had it for quite a few years and then decided that uh, it was time to take a step up. And so we looked around for the different machines out there and uh, we ran across the Laguna brand of CNC's. Um, I was really impressed with the company. When I called them, I always got a hold of somebody. They gave me straight answers, found it to be a great value. And so we made our purchase for our first uh, 5x10 uh, Laguna uh, smart shop uh, SUV. Uh, the guys came out, I think, a few days later and spent two days with us training us. And uh, I thought that was really pretty wonderful because on my first CMC machine, I bought a different brand and they were out there for like three hours and then said, see ya. After operating the Laguna for a few days, uh, it just dawned on me that this uh, quill idea uh, could be attached right to it. So I used the, the routing portion of the Laguna and routed out some brackets and mounted it on it and then affixed the, uh, the quill onto it and had it printing braille within an hour. Prints a perfectly spherical uh, amount of resin onto the surface the surface tension pulls it into a round shape and the resin is of a viscosity that holds its shape for quite a while 10 minutes 20 minutes and it gives you time to inspect the sign make sure everything's right and then you can cure it if something's wrong you wipe it off you reprint it. You didn't throw the sign away. And I, uh, Laguna didn't know anything about it. I just uh, did it on my own. So I took a video of it printing Braille and sent it to Laguna. And they called me right up and said, uh, tell us more. And the CNC, when used with the quill, uh, gives you an added advantage in which when you have large projects, you can set out dozens of signs and you can print them all at one time and without any concern about being off spacing wise or anything. Where an engraving machine, you're usually working with small areas. You do a few signs, you stop it, you take them out, you put your new blanks in there, start again where the CNC allows you to do huge batches of signs, making the jobs much faster. Can you imagine uh, doing, uh, let's say, 50 of these signs all at one time, sitting on top of the CNC? You know, it basically it saves you a ton of time. Like I said, uh, if you're doing a lot of signs, uh, a large CNC is the only way to go. A small engraver is great for, you know, a small mom and pop shop, but uh, when you're getting into the larger jobs, especially with hospitals where you're doing, you know, 700 signs, you know, um, it, 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 a little bit of speed goes a long ways. Is basically the process of drilling a hole and cleaning it out 
and pushing a little tiny round spherical piece of acrylic ball into the hole, a specific depth, and hoping it doesn't fall out. Um, that process lends itself to a multitude of problems. Uh, one of them is, is that when you were to do a very large amount of them, uh, the uh, insertion tool that usually puts these little dots in automatically will get off. And it doesn't have to get off very much. And then the little spherical ball doesn't fit in the hole and it crushes it. And usually what it does is it damages the sign. And at that point, you're throwing the sign away. Okay, we, we got contacted by the Braille Institute um, in regards to if we could possibly make uh, some braille signs or put braille on some glass trophies for their end of the year um, trophy presentation in which we did uh, probably about 40 different uh, glass uh, signs for the, for the California Braille Institute. And we've done those for the last couple of years.